Hey guys, it's Richard here. Um, I'm talking to Dale right now, and uh, he's going to share his debt freedom story. Um, he is going to talk to us about what uh, things were like before he got into the program and uh, after. As I understand, you've just graduated, so you've got all your debt settled up. Um, so talk to me about what happened, maybe what created the debt, what options you might have considered. Um, like, What was life like before we got involved and helped you out? Well, it's... Uh when they went bankrupt, uh, we had to pay for some of my medications, which uh, were expensive, to put it mildly. And it uh, it um, maxed out most of our credit cards, and that. And then we, I did a kind of a stupid thing. I was trying to borrow my way out. I thought I could borrow my way out. That was the first thing I thought of. And, um, we uh, talked to Wells Fargo. That was the only one I uh, uh, that would come come to my house, actually, because I live in chronic pain. So they said, oh, well, we'll, we'll come to your house and, uh, and do it with you over there. So they came. And they filled out all the paperwork the one day. I think that was on the uh, 6th of June, back in 2009, I guess it was. And uh, they did all the paperwork and everything and went back to their office. And then uh, got, I guess they put everything together and that. They came back on June uh, 7th and um, had all the paper ready to go and ready to be signed. And when I went to sign it, I saw the interest rate. It was really high. What was the interest rate? 39%. 39%? <clears throat> wow. And I hesitated, but I thought, well, the only way we're going to, I thought at the time, the only way I was going to be try and clear up some of the debt and be able to start paying some people because I was still, I was on disability and my wife was working part time trying to look after me and uh, um, anyway, I ended up signing it and you usually get, you have 72 hours to change your mind. Right. I called the next day. Mm -hmm. Well, there we the Wells Fargo office that came out to sign my uh, loan was closed. Mm -hmm. All the employees were let go. <laughs> they were gone. Everybody was gone. Uh -huh. I, got, I got one guy on the phone and he said, well, that's too bad, Mr. Wilson. You signed it. That's it. It's too bad. Uh -huh. And that was it. I couldn't get anything. After that, I couldn't get anything. I just had to say, okay, I'll... I guess we'll have to pay it. Okay. And um, got to the point where I said, that, you know, it's ridiculous because we could never get caught up or anything. And uh, I started looking and I thought, you know, really the right way to do it is to try and find somebody that will help me um, pay off the debts, how, how to help me pay off the debts and everything. And I just went online trying to find somebody. And... Um, I ended up with your site, okay. And I'm not sure who I talked to at first because it was quite a while ago. But um, <clears throat> somebody called me back. It was a girl, I think, that called me back. Uh huh. And then I was with one guy for a while, and we talked about what I could do and everything. And then uh, I that was for about two weeks or so, I think it was. And then I ended up with Mo. Okay, and Mo was the guy that was doing all the work to settle your debt. So now you've graduated. How much did you owe, by the way, when you got into the program? Roughly. Oh, you remember calling? Twelve. Ten or twelve dollars. Okay, so about ten or twelve thousand. And do you know what you ended up paying to settle all the debts? You know what the totals was? The total? Yeah. No. I was just to go, I was going to do that today because we just finished today and I thought, well, I'm going to add up all this and see what I come up with Got because it. I I never really added it up. Okay. I just, uh, Mo 
did all the negotiations and did a great job of negotiating and he just called me and he said this and um, I just I would say once in a while well try a little harder and see if you can get it down in orange and um, he called me back and it might come down a little bit more and he said I think that might be the best we can do right now so I said well you know uh, twelve hundred dollars for a five thousand dollar debt yeah okay let's do it sorry so, twelve hundred dollars is what you paid on a five thousand dollar debt I think that was one of them okay but I remember offhand anyway okay pretty good deal all right so um we ended up that's the way it went all along I and I kept in communications with uh, with Mo um, quite often and we talked a lot and I just had to because I was on disability I had to save my money mm -hmm. and uh, that was hard to do because I could only do it once a month right uh, away once a month and then uh, once they got you know two or three months put away then uh, you know I could talk to Mo and say okay this is how much I got let's see who's next sort of thing you know and then you did them one after the other right he had people lined up he, he was getting people lined up for me and that and we basically just went one at a time and during that the, wor the worst one was Wells Fargo because Wells Fargo was now bankrupt mm -hmm. in Hamilton okay so, so offices in bankruptcy so it was the one that uh, was the worst one and they put a guarantee on my wife's wages and that, uh, that was really bad and we had to get it settled because um, with me on disability and her working part time right. um, she was, she's was she been sick for a while and she worked two days and made approximately $20 well I mean I'm just I'm just in shock that that, that they were charging 39% on that loan. I mean, I I knew that there are, that, that these high risk lenders are anywhere up to about 35%. I had no idea that they went up to close to 40%. That's just, you might as well borrow money from the mob, right? Well, exactly, exactly. I, wow. I, I, I should have never done it, but at the time we were both in rough shape, I was in rough shape, and I just, at the time I just thought, well, somehow we gotta get going and get doing something. Gotcha. Okay. Um, well, well, our our drugs, our drugs for one drug called Lyrica mm -hmm. is five hundred dollars a month. One medication. So that's six grand a year. Right. That's six six grand, a year. grand a year. But if you think of it, that's one drug, and I take I think there's eighteen of them that I take. So if you add it all up. Um, if we had to pay when we had to pay for it in total, it's about twelve hundred dollars a month. Okay. Just for my medication plus my Colleen's medication, which isn't that much, but right. You know. So, uh, question for you, Dale. Now that you've settled all the debt and you've graduated, like, what's life like now? Like, has cash flow changed? Is is life better? Is it worse? Like, what are things like now? Only been. Uh, today, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 